the last video I talked about how I handle the production for Encounter. This video will be picking up where I left off from the last video. I've now essentially animated and coloured most of the um, most of the animation backgrounds to do. Uh, there were still some problems that I could see with the animation. So with about two weeks to go before my academic deadline, I was in a big rush to create a finished version of the film. I'd planned certain shots like the, the parallax shot with the hunter disappearing and, the, and also the helicopter flyby. It was really satisfying to see all of those elements come together and to actually witness the actual production of what I had come up with months before. During the animatic production and sometimes in the academic stage, my self-esteem and my confidence would take a dip, you know. And so it was in this uh, post-production phase that my confidence kind of went back up because I was able to see the results of the things that I was act actually making. They were all coming together and starting to actually work together. So, so it was quite encouraging for me. It was a nice sort of pick up from a low point where I was w worried all the time about whether it was going to work and that kind of stuff. I went to my teachers for feedback. They were all really helpful in uh, contributing ideas and honest criticism. This allowed me to make the film much better. The good and challenging part of the experience is that I had a diverse collection of teachers with different ideas of what a good film looks like. All of them were unquestionably experts in their field. And it was a privilege to get into discussions with each of them. But I've got to be honest, this was very frustrating at times. At times, I let it become a bit of a tug of war. That wasn't their fault. They were just giving me their honest thoughts about what they think the film would be uh, best as. When, when I listened to all of them, they sort of conflicted with each other. But if you surround yourself with creative people, you will get sort of bombarded with this abundance of ideas uh, on how to make the film better. But without a strong filter, your film will become their film. I struggled with this as my film went back and forth between, between these professors and after a while I realised that it was me who needed to make the decisions and stand up for myself basically. Once my film was unofficially finished for my university deadline I immediately travelled to Barcelona with my friends. I knew the date so we went and booked uh, an Airbnb. It's just good times with friends and exploring a wonderful city. We rented skateboards which allowed us to cruise around Barcelona effortlessly and see so much of the city. So when I came back, it wasn't over. When I came back, I spent almost another month just making fixes and improvements to the film. Basically, I had a month between getting back and the screening, the London screening, which was the, the biggest event for the film, really. I spent weeks making uh, little adjustments here and there. And then I took it in and just thought, OK, it's, it's perfect now. I've, I've done everything I can see gave it to my professor and she just found so many more things that I could improve about it. So I was like, oh God. So I went away again 
and spent another two weeks or something just making these little fixes. Uh, certain scenes, like the, the opening scene, you know, you always want the opening scene to be a very powerful scene, a scene that sort of summarizes the film, it gives you an idea of what you're going to be let in for, shows you the setting, and obviously it's the first impression as well. So uh, I and my teacher felt that the opening scene wasn't as strong as it could be. And that really relied on the concept art image that I had created, the, the background image, to be as good as it can. In the end, I repainted the whole image. And I'm really glad that I did because it, it made a big difference to the start of the film. My restriction was the deadline. So I decided that I would spend that month perfecting it as much as possible. But then after that deadline, I couldn't touch it anymore. I had to just ship it, promote it, and, uh, and send it away. You need something that's going to stop you from just endlessly whittling away at it, making these silly little fixes that no one's even gonna notice. I just want to take a quick break here to tell you about my Patreon page. I spent over six months on this two minute animation and it's had a great reception here on YouTube. From the YouTube ad revenue, I earned a total of $25. I didn't make this video for the money, but the extra funds I can raise make a big difference when it comes to growing this channel to its potential. Right now, my Patreon supporters are the main people helping me to do that. They're covering costs like software subscriptions, website hosting, and film festival entry fees. So thank you so much to the people who are already sponsoring me. These seemingly small pledges add up to something really significant. If you enjoy these videos and feel like you get value from them, you now have the ability to give some value back. Patreon is a platform which allows you to pledge a regular amount of your choosing. I'll leave the link in the description. Thank you for your consideration. One thing I learned about uh, film from this experience is that whilst film is a piece of art, it's also a product and it's there to help people in some kind of abstract way. It doesn't have to help them in a, a grand way, but it has to sort of provide some kind of value, right? Also, for people to watch a film, it requires an investment of their time. They have to invest time up front and sometimes money. You want to have a sort of guarantee that their time is not being wasted. And that's where the packaging comes in. These final weeks were also the time where I was designing the packaging. What I mean by the packaging is things like the poster, the thumbnail, uh, the synopsis, the title, that kind of thing which contains the film. It's very important especially important if you're going to be doing film festivals and those kind of things. I had created a synopsis which sort of doesn't give away what the film is going to, what's going to happen in the film, but it sort of leads you in. I made a video on how I designed the title font and the poster, you can watch that on my channel. So the first screening was at the Portsmouth Graduate Showcase. Uh, and that was, a, that was a really cool experience because I got to, you know, I got to show my parents, my dad watched it for the first time and also getting to see my classmates' films for the first time. It's just really nice closure to the whole thing. With the posters, I've also printed mini versions of the posters and they look like this. Yeah, so mini versions of the posters and, uh, and then on the back, my, my details so that basically I can show them these, these mini posters and say that these are the characters you're gonna see, that's my animation. It's kind of so that it links people in their mind, like my face to the work. Concept. I have to accept I've got something wrong with me. I know what this is. I'm not letting PTSD be me anymore. It wasn't my fault. There's nothing.
back at my my home in London. Today is the day where um, I have the London showcase, so I'm about to get prepared for that and uh, really excited. I've been looking forward to this event for a long time. I hope it turns out well. Uh, I don't know who's going to turn up, but we've emailed a lot of people. I really hope some people turn up at least just to watch the film, just to enjoy it. And, um, and then from there we can do a bit of networking. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's moving! This is the day on from uh, from the London show and just wanted to give my first impressions really of how the night went. It was mind blowing, it was amazing. It wasn't like hundreds and hundreds of people but like certain people that went, oh man, they are like exactly the kind of people I wanted to talk to. Some people who are like, I consider them my heroes, you know. The venue was really nice. Um, I didn't film a lot of it, I only filmed a tiny amount of what actually happened because most of the time I spent actually talking to the people. A lot of people were really, um, really nice and like they they gave really positive feedback about the film. They gave me advice for... Someone just pulled up behind me, that's weird. When I was creating the film, when I was animating it, I was like, I was always imagining it from that point of view of actually sitting in the cinema screening room with a bunch of people there and, and watching it together. That's like how I envisioned the film. I think from that, the film did turn out quite cinematic and that was good for the big screen. Yeah, pretty tired today, but that's, that's an indication that it was a good night. I tried to take the opportunity there to, um, to fully make the most of it and to really give a good impression of me as a person. I'm not banking on Encounter to be that film that wins me awards, but Encounter is definitely helping me to, to learn how to create an award-winning film. Uh, so I'm putting Encounter on a website called Film Freeway. And so Film Freeway is kind of how I'm learning about the film festival markets. And so it, it's a market, you know, and so you have to understand the market. You have to know, uh, just like any skill really, you have to know how to promote it in that market. So that's something that currently I'm, I'm learning about and trying to improve myself on. Conclusion. Well, looking back on all of this, it just makes me think I've had this amazing experience at Portsmouth University. I, I couldn't be more happy with, uh, with how it all turned out. I just have a pretty amazing life. <laughs> I've been given so many great opportunities. I just want to make the most of all of them and I want to continue growing and not 
put any of these opportunities that come my way to waste. You know, I want to make the most of everything. I also don't want to forget, so that's partly why I've made this video series, so I can look back on this and properly learn. I find that for me to learn something, I have to really demonstrate it to other people. So that's what I'm doing here. For me, I hope that I continue to make films. I'd love to just keep making films, keep making artwork, and to not be too contained in one thing. I, I, I kind of want to be free to move around. If I find something interesting, I want to be able to freely pursue that interesting thing and, and find out more about it. My hope for the film is that the film will be enjoyed and appreciated by by more people and uh, you know continue to provoke discussions and to ignite people's imagination. I want to thank everyone who's like shown their support. So many lovely messages, like really nice uh, feedback from people. Thank you so much to everyone who has just been so nice. You know, I've received so many nice comments and a lot of support along the way as well from my friends. The future is scary, it's dangerous, you know, uh, it's very unpredictable. I really have no idea what's going to happen next, but it wouldn't be fun if I knew all the answers. So I wouldn't have it any other way. And you know what? That marks the end of the film, <laughs> but it also, it also marks the end of my time at Portsmouth, you know. Me going to Portsmouth University, it's another chapter of my life that's closed. The, at the end of this week, I'm moving out of my house. So I've been here for three years now. Crazy to think that, but I have been here for three years and it's time to move on. Best of luck to everyone who has been here with me at Portsmouth. I hope we all keep in touch as well. Obviously, if you know me online, nothing's gonna change there. Uh, I'm just gonna move locations. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. These sticks are so weak. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I die. What the? I've burnt half a fucking marshmallow. That's the, that's the perfect way to eat it. Is uh, it? Man, yeah. You're making my leg go numb. Why are you leaning on my leg? That's disgusting. It'll taste amazing. Ah, oh, my hand. <laughs>